Hey YouTube, this is Scott the Cast Gastric Tire coming at you here on April 22nd, 2014 with my week 26 update uh, following RNY Gastric Bypass. I had my surgery back on October 28th, 2013 with Dr. De La Hoya through Missouri Bariatric Services here in Columbia, Missouri. Um, let's go ahead and get to the numbers. Uh, had high weight of 380. Uh, day of surgery was 342. Previous week was 259. This week I weighed in at 258. So that is a loss of one pound for this week. A loss in surgery of 84. And a total loss of 122. Um, had another small loss this week. But, um, uh, not really worried about it. Uh, I've just been sticking with the plan, uh, doing my running and doing my diet. And actually, on my, uh, dailies, um, this last week, uh, I'm seeing some movement. So, uh, probably shaping up to be a big week next week. But for now, that's what it is. I um, want to start out with uh, still asking for some questions for a uh, intro uh, video for Bridget. Uh, I know a lot of you are very excited to meet her, and I know you guys probably have some great questions. So, uh, probably sometime in, in this week, I will be doing a uh, couples video with my wife, Bridget. So, if you haven't gotten your questions in yet, either uh, here on one of my uh, videos or if you haven't uh, sent me a message through Facebook uh, please do that soon and um, that way I can uh, I can get your questions in so all right uh, business stuff out of the way let's get on to some of the fun stuff um, what's happened this week well I'd say the biggest thing that happened this week is I finished the C to 5K program. So that means I ran for 30 minutes straight without stopping. Now, this is a huge thing for me. Um, you know, this process uh, is just, it's amazing what our bodies can do after uh, after the surgery and uh, when we push ourselves I've never been able to do this sort of thing before so that, that was the huge that was the big big NSC from me this week and at this point my best time is 41 minutes for a 5k and uh, so my next goal since I finish up the program is to push myself to just get a better number. Um, I'm a very goal-oriented, checkpoint-oriented kind of guy, so uh, we hit that checkpoint, time to move on to the next one. A um, couple other interesting things. This last weekend, my, uh, my sister, who is uh, severely mentally and physically handicapped, um, had her 30th birthday party, uh, which is a huge deal. Uh, because when she was born, uh, she was born with tuberous sclerosis, uh, which is a calcification of one side of the brain, and um, makes it to where she was never able to uh, fully function. Uh, not able to walk, not able to talk normally, uh, not able to feed herself, bathe herself, all that sort of thing. And... Um, the doctors originally, when she was born, said that she would only live to uh, maybe be a couple years old at the most, and that she would never amount to anything. And uh, so it really is. It's amazing that she's uh, she's made it to thirty, and uh, so. We had a party for her um, at one of her favorite restaurants, and uh, that happened to be a Chinese buffet. 
Um, I know a lot of us have problems with things like buffets, uh, especially Chinese buffets, uh, prior to surgery. And this is the first time I've set foot in one since surgery. So I was a little bit concerned about um, how I was going to handle it. But I really felt like I handled myself well. Um, one of the cool things about uh, just this lifestyle change is you see food differently. And uh, you see uh, you see what's bad for you, and you see what's good for you. And you know it's going to make you feel better, and you know it's going to make you feel worse. So uh, they had some uh, baked salmon, and they had, oh, what else did I have on my plate? A little bit of uh, green beans and um, a little bit of crab salad and so I just took a dab of each of those and that was it I was really proud of myself that I did not take a single fried thing I mean, that's huge uh, because prior to surgery of course I would have piled on you know a large portion of uh, the deep fried and sugar coated stir fried whatever and then throw on probably about uh, five or six crab ragoon uh, crunchy dumplings that sort of thing and uh, that would have been the first course of course and then you go back for a second course and then you go back for a dessert course so to be quite honest I was really impressed and uh, just felt like that was a major victory for me that I know that I can go somewhere where uh, everyone else is having a buffet style thing and I can find things on the buffet that I can eat and that are good for me and they're going to make me feel good and uh, so that was a big thing for me. Okay, follow that up. Uh, that was on Saturday. Uh, we followed that up with Easter dinner on Sunday. And it was pretty much the same thing all over again. So, had, uh, you know, a few ounces of, of ham and some deviled eggs. And that was pretty much what I had all day. Um, I did have a bit of a uh, an issue when it came to uh, to the sweets. Um, I did feel a little bit left out because there wasn't anything there for me to eat. Uh, so while everybody else was mostly consuming uh, the second meal of the day, which was a dessert meal, I, I kind of hung out with my puppy and uh, just kind of hung out in a chair in a corner. And once everybody was mostly done, then I came over and socialized. So, um, you know, avoidance not necessarily the way, the best way to handle a situation like that but uh, at this point not necessarily the worst either so all right uh, third set of NSVs that are really kinda cool um, I went out on Saturday night and uh, went bowling uh, with uh, some friends and family and then went to uh, to sing karaoke. That's kind of a big one for me. Um, growing up in high school and uh, into college, I, I've always been in theater. Uh, I always wanted to be in front of people. Um, I was very... Uh, I was very outgoing and uh, I wanted, uh, I enjoyed the being in front of people thing. I'm, an, I'm kind of an attention hog sometimes. Uh, you, you pull out your camera, and I'm the one that strikes the goofy pose, or uh, uh, does a goofy dance trying to get attention. Um, that's who I used to be. And something that's interesting, uh, it's just, it's great, is I'm starting to become that person again. Um, 
really that person went into hiding uh, early in college when when the pounds really started packing on and uh, I stopped wanting people to see me because I was funny and interesting uh, and I started thinking people were looking at me because I was the big guy and didn't have uh, didn't have a good reason to be in front of people and um, and I felt like I was being judged uh, constantly and uh, so really I mean my self-esteem went through the pooper at that point in time and it's this great renaissance now that I'm able to get up on stage in front of practically a bunch of strangers uh, except for a, a few family and friends who are goading me on and uh, seeing Bon Jovi's Like a Cowboy and just belt it out and have the entire place up on their feet singing with me by the end. That was an amazing, amazing experience. And... Uh, I guess what I, I guess what I really want to talk about is just coming alive. And uh when I had this surgery, you know, I had goal weight in mind and I had things I wanted to accomplish uh medically and things I wanted to accomplish career-wise. But I forgot how good it felt to be confident. To be confident in myself. Uh, to be confident in my abilities. And really, uh, to be to have a, a, a group of friends behind me that, uh, that'll that catch me if I fall. And so I, I you know, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm able to take some risks and uh, I really just put myself out there. So, you know, the next karaoke uh, session's already been planned. So I think that's going to be a new part of my life. Maybe bowling league too. Uh, I did not suck at that. So, uh, you know, who knows? We'll see. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about um, relatively brief briefly is um, some of the issues uh, that I've seen in the WLS community and how people see each other and how people treat each other. And uh, part of this piggybacks on uh, my experience in Tampa um, because I have a very different view of this whole community now than I did then. So I just want to lay a little bit on you. So first thing, um, I'd like to say that we really need to get away from expecting perfection from people. Uh, everyone on these videos uh, has the guts to get out there, the guts to put themselves in front of other people, and uh, share their issues. And the thing is, is we're all people. Uh, we're all just trying to share this journey with each other. And whether that is um, just trying to work some things out ourselves in our own videos, or if we're trying to share with other people uh, who might be going through similar things and to give support. Um, but really the point is, is we're all people. 
and we all have our own issues. You know, you don't, in my case, you know, and I certainly hope you don't put me on a pedestal because I absolutely do not belong there. You know, I am not a perfect person in any way. Um, and the farther along in this journey, I realize I have more and more mental issues. I mean, you don't get to be 380 pounds. And, uh, and being somewhat okay with dying young without having some pretty serious mental issues. So, give some people some grace, is really what I'm saying. Uh, if you don't like what they're doing in their videos, if you don't like their point, you can just unsubscribe. Um, so, no need to be mean. Be good to one another. Uh, number two. Uh, like I said, if someone's vids aren't your cup of tea, don't watch. If you don't like people that cuss, and um, you aren't comfortable with uh, the topics that they are discussing, you don't need to watch their videos. Uh, these people are just trying to share their journey and be as authentic as they can. So, um, you know, every once in a while, I may you know, curse. I don't do it often, but I am, I am human, and that's part of who I am. Also, I'm um, going to have a drink from time to time, and uh, I know that that's a bit controversial, but, you know, uh, that's, that's just part of who I am. That's just part of my journey, and, uh, and working through figuring out uh, who I I'm becoming. So, um, number three, uh, really the point of this whole thing is for us to be here to support each other and uh, to give each other hope when there isn't and to, uh, to help each other through the hard times and uh, to give each other ideas of how to live this thing out better. Uh, the weight loss surgery bariatric life can be really tough and it can be tough mentally and it can be tough physically so you know we need to be out there supporting each other and building each other up not tearing each other down so really that's all i had for this week um i do have a special feature coming to you uh uh I have uh, built up the courage to actually take a video of me uh, with my skin showing. So, uh, you know, look forward to that. Or not. You know. Just feel like it might be helpful to someone to see uh, what someone six months out looks like. So, there's that coming. And, uh, like I said, I still need, uh, some questions for Bridget for our conversation. So, uh, if you haven't gotten those in, get those in soon. And, uh, I think that's it. Next week is my six-month surge anniversary. So, uh, we'll see how deep I go down the rabbit hole on that one, uh, but I think there are some topics to discuss, some things I've learned, and places I want to go. So, uh, that's really all I have for this week, so be good to one another, and have the courage to be the new you this week. Thanks for watching.